Say <laughs> Allah. <laughs> Welcome back to Kuna Arab. Today we're going to take a deeper look into history, race, ethnicities, nationalisms. Do these things actually matter? Are we as human beings exclusively from one place or are we a hybrid of different things? I've asked five of my Arab friends from five different countries to take a DNA test. We've got Mehdi from Morocco, we've got Lamise from Egypt, we've got May from Syria, Saeed from Yemen, and Mohammed from Iraq. And they're going to be taking the DNA test to find out where they're actually from. My name is Hamza, and this is Kulna Arab. Enjoy. So I'm here today to take a DNA test and uh, find out, I guess, where I originate from. What are we doing today? Checking out where I'm from. Actually, not just Egypt. Curious. Why are you curious? Because especially where I'm from in the south in Yemen, obviously there's a lot of mix of like East Africans, trade. I feel good. I feel I really want to know where I'm from. I've got my speculations. I'm really excited actually. I think I'm going to get some very surprising results. So both my parents are from Egypt originally. So both my parents are from Iraq. My parents are from Yemen. Uh, both of them are from the city of Aden, which is the capital of the south. Both are from Syria. My mom is from Latakia and my dad's from Hama. Both my parents are Moroccan, both of them from Casablanca, Darveda. All the time. They tend to tell me I either look Moroccan straight away or they send me all over the world. I get uh, everything but Yemen, apart from like once or twice. Nobody ever says I look Egyptian. I'll get anything other than Egyptian. Algerian, Syrian, Lebanese, never get Egyptian. Spain, Italy, Trinidad, America, South American, everything. A bunch of different countries, but most people actually do recognize that I'm somewhere from the Middle East. I wouldn't be surprised if there were other African countries because I have heard the rumors, people in my family used to tell me I was, there was uh, like I had a great granddad from Ghana or something. So it's gonna be interesting. It'll probably be like 50% Iranian, a little bit of Iraqi, and then maybe some Turkish and Russian as well. Why Russian? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Geographically, it's close to the other countries, so I think there'll probably be some influences from there. Hella European, I'm gonna get so much Turkish or something. I just want like, Southeast Asian, something like that, you know? Latino, something like that. Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> be a bit spicy. I think I'm going to be predominantly native. I think I'm going to have maybe a small mix of Asian and uh, East African. <laughs> I think I'm going to have some Jewish in me. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that down. <laughs> All right, cool. I beg you just tell me what to do. I can't be asked. <laughs> right, so that, what do I do with this? You open it first. <laughs> oh, cheers, mate. <laughs> oh, this looks dangerous. <laughs> Biohazard. <laughs> what do you want me to tell you? <laughs> so, um, you'll see two cheek swabs. So, one is for your left cheek, the other is for your right cheek. My butt cheek. <laughs> you put it on your left cheek first and then you, you spin it while you go up and down. I have to get my cheeks ready. <laughs> Alright, cool. So yeah, I just put this. Wrong, 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 wrong. Oh, it's the other side. <laughs> 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 I love having this video on camera. <laughs> This looks so weird. <laughs> Why are you rubbing it like that? <laughs> Does it matter if I ate cheese crisps before? How long ago? Oh, don't worry. Are you awkward? Some fancy stuff. I don't need this in life. <laughs> okay, we've done it. Any last comments before? No, I'm excited. Can't wait. Six, six weeks. My DNA, right here. <laughs> That's all done. Got my saliva in the test tube. I think it takes like four to six weeks for it to happen. Until then, ciao. Here's the find out if I'm going in. <laughs> See you in six weeks. See you in six weeks. <laughs> six, Yay. that was it. Yay. 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 Yay.
Okay, we're back here again, and today we're going to be finding out my DNA results. I am super, super excited. We've been waiting for six weeks for them, so I'm really excited to, to finally find out where my heritage goes back to. Let's go! Oh, look at that. What's that? Iran, yeah? That's what I thought. West Asian, 65%. Middle East, Saudi Arabia, you know, <laughs> 18%. A bit of Asia in there, South Asian. Oh my god, I got some Indian in me. <laughs> I got some Irish in me, Scottish. Conor McGregor. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> that is crazy. See, I was a little bit right, you know. Hey, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. I'm a citizen of, of the world. <laughs> Let's go and take a deeper, a deeper dive. <laughs> in a world of forbidden pleasure. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> But you know when you meet up with a girl now, you can be like, listen, I'm from this country too, you know what I'm saying? I got some Turkish in me, <laughs> got some Scottish in me. <laughs> oh man, like it's, it's crazy to think about. Like my ancestors been, they've been all over the place. They've been <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> like, they've been kind of like traveling the world. <laughs> <laughs> So after Brexit, when these guys try to kick me out, I'm gonna be like, hey, listen, I got 3.6% in my blood, you know? <laughs> I don't know, how did we get to Ireland? <laughs> like, like, I understand, like, you know, in the Middle East, like, you've got, like, Turkey. Like, I guess I can also see, like, Kazakhstan. India's a little bit further out, but, like, and then you've got Egypt and Saudi Arabia. Like, I can see how, like, my ancestors might have, like, traveled from one area to the other area. But, like, how the hell do you go from all the way being over there to all the way going to Ireland? <laughs> 70% of it I expected. We've got the usual suspects in there, Turkey, Iraq, Iran. That bit I definitely <laughs> expect. What are you laughing for? <laughs> usual suspects. <laughs> suspect. <laughs> I think I expected most of it, but there are definitely some uh, surprising bit, bits of it. India and Nepal, that, that was definitely interesting. Central Asia, like Kazakhstan, didn't expect to see any of, the, any of those countries pop up. So what really intrigues me is to understand like what point in the generation we made that transition from let's say being Turkish to being Iraqi because if you asked me I, you know I would classify myself as 100% Iraqi as far as I know. My parents are 100% Iraqi uh, at home we celebrate Iraqi culture I very much feel Iraqi but then you know of course the results show that you know we you know we come from many different parts of the world. When did we go from being Indian to being Turkish to being from Kazakhstan to now actually being Iraqi? I think that's a very interesting concept to, to think about. We're back here to uh, find out my ethnicity, see if I'm actually purely Moroccan, which I doubt. But um, yeah, man, I'm intrigued. Whoa. So it says that I'm 90.5% African, North Africa, West Africa, European, Sierra Leonean, which is 3.6%, which is mad, I didn't know that. Southern Europe, Iberian. That's mad. Yo, that's crazy. So I'm Spanish. I'm sorted. <laughs> sorted, guys. Now, nah, no one's. You lot ain't gonna hear the end of this, bro. <laughs> Hola. Hola. That's it, bro. I'm gonna start Spanish lessons tomorrow, fam. I'll tell you, Spanish, Portuguese, we're gonna know all of it, inshallah. Bro, I'm, I'm shocked. It's not complete whoa. Like, I am majority Moroccan, like I said. But in terms of the Sierra Leonean part and Iberian part, like, Completely contradicts what I'm saying. I'm not Moroccan. I'm everything. Is what I'm trying to say to everyone. Right, guys. So we're back after six weeks. Hamza's invited me around. The results are in. It's time to check out our DNA results. I'm excited and I'm nervous. I'm more anxious. Like, where am I from? What if I'm just not from where I thought I've been from like this whole time? Like this whole time. What if it's just a mass surprise? Oh yeah, I'm shook, bro. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Tano, Yemenite Jewish. Hey, this is mad sick. Ethiopian Jewish. North African. They want more heard about. Nigeria, China. Say Allah. Poland, Ukraine, bro. Where did that come from, bro? Polska sklep. Bro. 
<laughs> Why are you surprised? There's like 50, wait, like 55, 60% of me is African. Ashkenazi Jew. Is that, is that Iberia? Chinese and Vietnamese, bro. That's mad, bro. Middle Eastern and East African, yeah. I didn't expect to get North, North African and West African and European. European, bro. That's a madness. Hi, guys. I'm Lamise, as you know. Back after six weeks to see what the hell or where the hell I'm from. Um, and prove my mum wrong that we're not 100% Egyptian. Excited. I'm gonna be so sad though if it's like rubbish. I want like a nice mix. Like I wanna, I wanna see, I wanna see like all parts of the, the atlas on, up on there. <laughs> Oi, 42.2% Middle Eastern, 29.1% North African. I knew I'd get this. Marazi Jewish, Ir Iranian slash Iraqi. Oh. I don't like swear sauce South America up in there. <laughs> I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna ignore everything else and take that. Allah. <laughs> oh, someone said that to me today, the Maasai tribe. West Africa, Nigerian, 1%. My Nigerian friends are gonna be happy about that. 3.7% Italian. You know that sass. I knew it was from somewhere else other than the Arabs. That's wild, see? You're not who you think you are. Uh, I mean, yes and no. I wasn't expecting the Jewish part. I wasn't expecting the 1% Nigerian. I wasn't expecting the 3.7% Italian. I was expecting some Latino. No, I was hoping for Latino. But I thought we'd have like Mongolia up in there because you know how we got like Genghis Khan and that. Thank you for coming through. They might clone me. <laughs> Wouldn't it be two of me? Just That'd be great. Like Okay, so it's been six weeks. We're back again. I'm excited. I just wanted to have a look. I can't wait. <laughs> Let's go. What? Where's... Okay, fine. I told you. I told you. North Africa. I knew it. I look Moroccan. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I am 53.7% West Asian. 19.7% North African. Hey, 13.6% Middle Eastern, 13% Europe, Greek and South Italian, and I'm 2.8 Jewish. <laughs> oh my God, I guess this is me. But you're only like 13% Middle Eastern. I know. How do you feel about that? Fine. You know, look, in this world, there's no, no one's from anywhere. We're from everywhere, no borders. I say no borders. I'm not surprised, but kind of. I'm not surprised at where I'm from, but I'm surprised at, surprised at the percentages. Um, but overall, yeah, I thought there's gonna be like a random country, but no, this is me. I'm all like Middle Eastern and Italian, Italian North African, Mediterranean, all of that. It's just interesting when you think about it that how, you know, you can't really feel so attached to one place of the world because Truly, you know, you're from many, many different places of the world, right? Like, you know, I actually, according to this at least, have some Irish in me. So it's like, you know, you, you can have some, like, let's say someone who's Irish and he's racist, but he might not know that actually his, some of his very own roots come from, you know, those countries that, you know, he's showing racism towards. That just goes to show, bro, like, no one's exclusively or purely anything, do you know what I mean? Like, we all come from somewhere, we're all hybrids of different things, different cultures, civilizations, and all grow on each other and evolve, and it's never each their own, do you know what I'm saying? So, just... <laughs> <laughs> we're, all, we're all mixed in with each other, like, we could well be relatives without even knowing it, like... You know, there's no need for people to be walking around thinking they're superior or inferior to anyone else, everyone's... Everyone's united, you get me? That's a madness though, sick. This like nationalism or, you know, like everyone, yeah, like people feel really proud of like their particular country. And in the bigger scope of things, this kind of goes to show that like, you're not from one place, no one is. Like we're, we're so diverse, there's such a mix of people, you know, like 
it's never going to be one place over another. So it just it just kind of just reiterates to you that you you should never like feel like you're superior to someone just because of where you're from. Like we all came from Africa anyway. Just be Gucci. No, it's racism. Be Gucci, right? Be Gucci. No, it's racism. I think we all belong everywhere. It's just about humanity, and it's got nothing to do with um, where you're from. As you can clearly see, the everybody can be from anywhere you can have any type of blood in you so whether you're a good human being or not so yeah no to racism <laughs> yes to love yes to love and peace <laughs> let me say that again and, <laughs> and, and a very big thank you to Hamza for organizing this and, and getting uh, all of our DNA uh, tests ready and sending it off and dealing with everything you're an amazing person we appreciate it much love hope you all subscribe like this video comment if you like it share it around show it all the love I don't know what else to say <laughs> 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 See you later. <laughs>